Hello and welcome to a new edition of True Audio Files. So tonight I'm going to talk about how audio file releases recently or audio file level releases have been selling out quite fast. And it's from basically almost all the all the companies out there, you know, MoFi, Kraft, uh, Blue Note, and acoustic sounds verve reissues they all seem you know to so give a little bit of a well i don't for a little bit of a background on what i'm talking about to give a little background mofi has been typically have certain releases i should say that have you know maybe a limit of like three thousand or four thousand copies you know and usually those sold out you know relatively quickly but usually six months to a year after they got released maybe a little longer but as of late they've been selling out even before they get to the uh through to be released uh even before the pre-order air time frame has elapsed and one prime example of that is one that i was trying to was trying to get is uh the run dmc raising hell mofi i think it was initially limited to 1500 then they upped it to 3000 uh, but it still sold out before pre-orders were done uh, before it came out, before it got released. And usually, one steps are the only exception to this rule, but usually I will buy a record once it gets released. And that was going to be the case for the Run DMC, but uh, it sold out before it even got released. And it looks like Nielsen Schmielsen is going to be a similar one, although, you know, they've, they've gotten a couple of copies here and there, but it kind of in, is in a similar light with that. And also, you know, the Kraft ones are a prime example that's well established. You know, they're making basically one steps uh, that are comparable to Mobile Fidelity's one steps. Uh, except they're, I think they're 33 and a third instead of the two LP, 45 LP versions. And a little bit of an update on that. I still haven't gotten my Yusuf Latif One Step, the Eastern Sounds. It's still sitting in the same spot it was uh, the last time I did a video last week. So it has not even been accepted yet. It's just been received at the post office. So going on two weeks and still hasn't even been accepted yet. But anyways, I digress. But basically the, the Kraft One Steps, you know, they made a thousand of each of the two that came out. The John Coltrane Lush Life and then this uh, Yusuf Latif Eastern Sounds. And, you know, the John Coltrane one sold out, I think, within like less than half a day. And then the Yusuf Latif, basically within a few minutes, they sold out. So, you know, One Steps to a certain extent are kind of doing that, although they aren't quite as bad. They are taking a little longer to sell out mainly because they learned from their early mistakes where they're only pressing 2,500 or 3,000 or whatnot. Now they're typically pressing anywhere from 6,000 to 9,000 copies. So they're still typically available at least for a few months after uh, the initial release. So although my understanding is the Blood, Sweat and Tears one that just got released, that one sold out before it actually got released, but it had also been on pre-order for a couple of years so it's not like uh you had no opportunity to get it yeah i think i think uh the blood sweat and tears one step has been available for probably easily two years two and a half years for pre-order and uh but and i think it's officially sold out so you can't buy it even though it's been officially released now at least that's to my knowledge if you know anything different please comment on this but anyway so you've got those you've also got acoustic sounds when they started doing aka analog productions uh when they started releasing basically the verve reissues that they did starting at the i think the end of last year the early the early stuff that they were doing they weren't pressing enough and they ran out they had to do a second press really quickly and uh blue note had the same issue with the uh classic vinyl series and uh to i think to well i was gonna say to the 80th anniversary but i don't think they were having that issue but they were definitely having an issue with the classic vinyl series they were selling out uh all the copies they were pressing and they had to quickly try to go into a repress which is difficult nowadays because all the pressing plants are so backed up so but so you had that you had the acoustic series or uh, acoustic sounds verve reissues series and i think they're starting to do some other uh labels as well for that uh and uh you know the blue notes craft mofi so what am i getting at here it seems to me that uh <laughs> 
the industry in the record industry, records specifically, industry seems to be just exploding to epic proportions. I mean, just the fact that this stuff's selling out even before it gets released is just utterly amazing to me. And in some cases, selling out within like five minutes of them going on sale for pre-order. So, and I'm actually also seeing it's for certain things like, for example, Gojira, their new album. They did a special color variant on their website for their their specific artist website. And I went to the site, I think two or three days after it was officially announced, and the color variant was already sold out. I couldn't get it. Uh, the interesting thing is they keep advertising it on Facebook and showing the, that it's available, but then you click on it and it's sold out. But anyways, I digress a little bit. So I'm wondering uh, what you guys think. And if you've been experiencing that same thing, it's been getting kind of frustrating as a person who really appreciates good sounding records and uh, just in general having to deal with, you know, making sure you get your pre-order in before it sells out uh, or else you're not going to get a copy. I mean, fortunately for the Acoustic Sounds products and for the Blue Note Classic Vinyl Series and Tome Poets and all those, they're going to be repressing those, so those are not going to be in limited numbers. But, you know, things like the Craft stuff, the MoFi One Steps, and those standard MoFis, um, although most of the MoFis that are limited are typically the 2LP45 RPMs. And I think Johnny Cash was another one that I was fortunate to get in on before it sold out. But what what has been your experience? I really would love to hear what you have to say about that. Are you having the same issues I am where... You know, things are selling out before you even have a chance to buy them. And uh, if so, you know, what's the solution besides the obvious of pressing more? Because, you know, because of contracts, you may not be able to with things like the MoFi 45 RPM things and to a lesser extent the, the craft ones because I've heard that they're going to actually uh, start producing, pressing more of the limited batch. So you're still going to be able to get them. Uh, and, or should be able to get them easier now. Hopefully it will be a little easier than the last two, and hopefully the shipping improves uh, compared to what my shipping experience has been. Two weeks now, and hasn't moved. So I know a lot of you probably are the same way. So anyway, would love to hear what you have to say. Please comment below uh, and let me know what you've been experiencing out there. Are you experiencing the same stuff I am? If you liked what you saw here, please like the video. I would really appreciate that. Also, if you want to see more of my videos, or and, and please subscribe and hit that alert bell so you'll know when my new videos come out, although most of the time they come out on Saturdays in the afternoon, Eastern time anyways, uh, Eastern part of the U.S. So that's all I've got for today. Please check out my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts as well. I've got links to them below. That's everything for today. Thank you very much, and you have a great one.